Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and to my very first Christmas video of the year. Trust me, I'm just as much in shock as you are that it's already this time of year. I don't know where the year has gone, but on another note, I've made a promise to myself this year, and I say this every year, but I mean it this year, to be really organized in November, get all my prep done, all my present shopping done, and I'm sticking to it. And I know lots of you probably feel the same and also would love to kind of get all that prep done so you can actually kind of enjoy December because I don't know about you, but I'm running around like a headless chicken the week before I go back to Ireland, like rushing and running to get everything done, and I just don't want that this year. So that is what inspired today's video. And I wanted to share just 10 really simple, really easy, pretty practical gift ideas for her. So your mom, your sister, your friend, your girlfriend, whoever it is in your life that you want to buy for this year but maybe you just don't really know where to start <laughs> and these people are maybe hard to buy for but I hope that this video will inspire you and nothing is sponsored this video isn't in partnership with anyone I'm just doing it um, for myself and just to hopefully help you and I was going to do it on my insta story that's kind of what gave me the idea and then I figured I would just do it on my channel so it'll be here for the next few weeks that you can kind of refer back to. So I have 10 things in total to show you and yeah, let's get right into it. Okay, so the first kind of two pieces are part of the one category. So I put these together and I'm just gonna get right into it. My favorite things to get as a present personally, slippers and pajamas and yes, probably means I'm boring, I don't know, <laughs> but I love when people buy me pajamas, slippers, loungewear, comfy clothes, you just can't beat it and you have so much time at Christmas to kind of be lying on the couch and just kind of hanging out at home so it's nice to have nice bits and the first things I'm going to recommend straight off the bat are Ugg slippers and if you follow me on Instagram you'll know I'm a huge fan, Kaylin got me a pair, not these ones, these are new but she got me my first pair last Christmas and I have lived in them all year. Tommy has lived in them. <laughs> if you also follow my Instagram, you would have seen recently that he just steals them all the time. So I got myself a new pair recently. These ones and oh, they're just divine. Like they're kind of on the pricier side. So these were $128, but they last. Like they last so well compared to other slippers. and. I tried out a few different pairs throughout the year and nothing compares. So really recommend these. You can get lots of different styles, lots of different colors, and I'll link them down below. And then the second thing is pajamas. And I know, again, boring, but I love pajamas. It's something we all wear all the time. So why not get like a nice one for someone for Christmas? And obviously you can get really expensive pajamas. And I have tried some of the more expensive ones in the past, but you can also get other like more affordable ones that are just as nice and this is the one I want to show you I found it recently on River Island and I haven't worn it yet but I think I actually will keep it for Christmas at home but it's so nice it's this kind of like silky satiny style pajamas which I personally love and this is the top part and then obviously the matching trousers and this is from River Island so it wasn't crazy crazy expensive I think it's 18 pounds for the bottom and then the top was 20 pounds so whatever the exchange rate is in dollars and euro i'll link it below for each place because i know that they kind of have different links to get you to the side wherever you are in the world so that's that one and if i see any other ones online as well that i think are nice and just kind of extra like fancy and cozy kind of for a present i'll link them as well but yeah you can't go wrong slippers and pajamas <laughs> Okay, and then next up, kind of an obvious one, but I mean, who doesn't love a fancy, bougie candle as a present? And obviously there are so many candle brands, but I will say Diptyque are still one of my favorites. I just love like the design of their candles. They're so simple. They suit like almost, well, they probably suit every home. Like even no matter what your home style is, because it's so, simple and chic like they'll go anywhere so that's why I'm kind of saying it's a good gift idea and same for Jo Malone again a very classic style of candle you know black and white 
simple colors you just can't go wrong with someone for a gift and these kind of candles as well are also like you know they are a little bit expensive so sometimes you know people don't really want to buy them for themselves because they're like oh you know it's it is a bit of a splurge so i think getting it as a present then is extra special because it is something that you love to have but you hate buying it yourself so another very good idea okay and then moving kind of on to like beauty and cosmetics and obviously you know everyone is different and sometimes when it comes to certain beauty products or makeup or even hair stuff it can kind of be hard to choose something for someone because everyone has their preferences so i decided to like put together some bits and pieces here that i have now to my left like stuff that are kind of universal like i think everyone will love these and the first is my favorite hair mask i talk about this so much it's the kerstask hair mask it's called nutrivive mask and tints something like that i'll link it down below um this is brilliant like i think any type of hair this will work with like i obviously have long and like quite thick hair and this just transforms it i use it at least once a week every week it keeps it so soft and shiny and and anyone that i've recommended this to like all different hair types they've loved it so this is a good one and i'm pretty sure kellen told me that this is actually on sale at the moment um i forget the site that she said but i'll link that down below i'll give like a us option and like uk and ireland and europe option and hopefully you can get a good price because this is a good month for buying in November you know there's all the sales and lots of brands are doing like good deals so yeah keep an eye out and I'm sure whoever you get this for will be very appreciative and then next on the beauty list I'll pop these two together and again two things I talk about all the time the first is this Chanel bronzer um I never pronounce this right I think it's Soleil Tan de Chanel that's what it's called and basically it's their universal bronzer it is amazing I never really like bought into the hype of this oh, I put this thing on wrong so I can't oh yeah here it is um this is it just a universal cream bronzer which has honestly changed my makeup routine like Kaylin raved about this for so long and I just never bought into it and even when I did buy it for myself at the beginning, I still was a bit like, what is the deal with this? I just don't see, you know, much of a difference. But then I got the right brush and I started like applying it actually the right way. And now I could never live without this. Like as soon as this goes and there's still a good bit left, like I use this every day for the last couple of months and there's so much left. So it is good value and it's a good value present to get someone because this will probably last them, um, I would say like a year. I mean, we'll see, but I could see myself getting a year out of this. It's brilliant, it's bougie, it's like a fancy gift to get. The packaging is nice, it's real classic, it's lovely on like your makeup desk and in your makeup bag and stuff. So yeah, really recommend that. And then the other gift I always recommend to people as well, and I've got this gift for people. I think we got it for our mom, and I think I got it for one of the girls as well. And everyone we get this for loves it. And it's the Laura Mercier translucent powder. So this is what it says at the bottom. Hopefully you can see with the reflection. But you can get this in, this is just the regular one. So it's translucent loose setting powder. And this is just a regular one, like a regular looking powder. And then you could also get a glow version. I, I thought I brought it out with me, but I mustn't have. Um, but basically it's the same size, same kind of packaging, but it's more, like it has more of like an illuminator within the powder. So that's also an option if you know that someone maybe loves like to have that kind of highlighty look. Lasts for ages. This always does me, I would say like four, five, six months. Like they last well. And both of these are like a little bit expensive but they last really well so like buying one of these compared to maybe three or four other bronzers like if someone had to buy it you know this is actually works out much better so love these two makeup products so if you know someone who loves makeup these are great ideas for them and then kind of keeping on the bronzy vibe i'm going to recommend tan and obviously you know that i work with uh be perfect cosmetics i'm one of their ambassadors they haven't asked me to do this video but i genuinely recommend 
they're tan to everyone. Like I recommend it to every single person I meet because it is just so brilliant. And when I was thinking about what to put into this gift guide, I think tan is actually a really good idea because it's something that a lot of us use. I think especially any Irish followers I have, we love our tan and we wear it a lot. And it kind of is a pain in the ass to be buying it all the time. You know, it adds off and if you're using it every weekend, like it doesn't be long going. So this is a great gift idea. So I put two in. So this is the one I use all the time. It's their strawberry tanning mousse. This is the one I would put on like in the morning or at night and it develops throughout the day. Love this, like genuinely. I will never not use this. And then this is their newer one, which I think would be a good gift idea as well. Kind of a good way for someone to test the brand. And it's the Golden Hour Glow. And this is their new instant tan. It's really illuminating. So I love wearing this on my legs and I love wearing it on this area up here as well, especially now for all the Christmas lights out because it really kind of makes your collarbones kind of pop, like that highlighty look. And this I think is only 17.95 euro and maybe like 20 something dollars, something around that. So it's a good price for a gift. And this would even be nice if you're putting together maybe like a goodie bag for someone or like any guys watching, girls love tan. <laughs> this is a good one. And, and this comes, I think, in two colors, medium dark and then a lighter one. So obviously you'll know whoever you're buying for, whether they like to wear a darker tan or a lighter tan. And yeah, pretty easy. So there are the two of them. And just like everything, I'll link them down below. And then the last kind of beauty cosmetic thing is perfume. I couldn't do a gift guide <laughs> without putting in perfume. And obviously there are so many perfume options and I'm not telling you just to buy like this particular one, but just overall perfume, kind of a boring present. I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of a fussy one for presents. And sometimes if I get perfume at, at the beginning, I'm like, oh, you know, okay, it's a tiny bit boring, but then I'm actually so grateful because Perfume is so expensive, like crazy expensive. And it's something that you do wear every day. And again, it's one of these things that you need in your life, but it's annoying to be buying it all the time. So it's a great present idea. And I'm always so appreciative when people buy it for me. So I figured I'd pop in this as an idea. This is like a newer one I've been using recently. It's from YSL and it's called Libre or Lib yeah, Libre, I think, L-I-B-R-E. I think they just came out with this like a couple of months ago and they actually gifted this to me. They sent it to me, the press team here in New York. And at the beginning, I wasn't sure. Remember when I smelled it first, I was like, not fully sure. Like I was kind of had to get into it, but then I wore it one day and I just loved smelling it throughout the day and even when I came home that night I could still kind of smell it like on my jumper and it was so nice. It's not too sweet, it's kind of a mix. It's a little bit masculine which I usually don't like but for this one it just seems to work. Whatever way they've done it I really like it. It's, I don't think it's unisex but it does kind of have that vibe a little bit and look at the packaging like I mean very me as you can tell it's really like suiting my living room maybe i'll put it in here but it's just really like glam like if you give that to someone they'll be impressed you know it's one of those things so definitely recommend that as well and i'll link it down below and then three more things to show you what will i do next um okay jewelry 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 my I have to say my favorite gift to get and Kellen was even asking me I think it was last week what I wanted and I was like oh I just lo would love another ring and she's like Erica I can't get you <laughs> another ring I'm like I love getting jewelry as presents because I know it kind of sounds a bit cringy but like when someone buys you jewelry like and if when you wear it like you think of that person it has this like sentimental value and you know if it's a good piece of jewelry you'll have it forever and it will always remind you of a certain time or person or whatever it is so yeah you just can't go wrong it's a lovely lovely gift to give and to get so this was an example i figured i would show you and Hopefully with the light now you can see, but basically this is a necklace that I have and it's engraved with my initial, so E. So you can get it in all different letters. And this is from my favorite Irish brand. They're called Lulery. They're in based in Dublin, but they sell online and everything. And I have just a really nice relationship with them over the last few years. And I love the owner, Louise. She's so nice. And their jewelry is just really simple. So simple, but like, 
so chic and timeless and that's why I think I personally love them because that's very much my style as well and I got this from them I think it was like maybe two or three years ago and I still have it and I still love it and I figured it'd be a good one to put into this video because whoever you're buying for you know it kind of looks like you really made an effort if you get it personalized like personalized gifts just scream you know I went that extra mile <laughs> and even though it wasn't maybe that hard to do like it does look like you made more of an effort so this necklace is a really good one um it's really good quality you can get all the different letters and yeah I thought it was a really nice idea to include so that would be in the description box too and then the last two things what time am I on oh my god why I just cannot do short videos I just go on and on but hopefully you're finding this helpful. Um, so the second last gift idea I'm going to put in is my card holder. And obviously this is Chanel, so a little bit more on the pricey side. But I will say, Kaylin bought me this for my birthday. I think it was two years ago she bought it for me for my birthday. And I have used it every single day since. It's a tiny bit marked at the front here. It probably could do, I'd say I could probably get that off um just a little, little bit of a clean but like other than that it's perfect the inside still looks good it's like the black leather very subtle branding not too in your face and i'll link some like different price options down below because obviously everyone has a different price range but if you are looking to really spoil someone i think a designer card holder is such a treat like ysl do great ones chanel Gucci and then there's more like middle of the range ones kind of like Kate Spade Coach like there's loads of options and then like brands like River Island and Topshop and all them They do great options as well So I'll put a selection down below for you and yeah Hopefully if you're on the search or if you're thinking about this You'll be able to find one that suits you and the person that you're buying for and then last but not least then i promise i'll stop talking but the last idea that i had to put in was this polaroid camera and again a really nice gift to get like i think we live in a world where all we do is take photos on our freaking iphones we never print them off they go into the cloud forever like when will we even go back and look at them all? Like thousands of photos. And I think it's just, as a result, so nice. to take your Polaroid picture, literally print it out there and then, and put it somewhere that you could actually see it. Like I love to, when people come over for parties and stuff, I love to like take photos of everyone and then you can actually, they're quite small, so you can put them into like one frame or you can just have them in a corner or you can put them on the wall or whatever, like have a certain area for them. And this particular one that I'm showing you is black and white photos, which I personally love, but you can also get colored ones and you can just buy the actual Polaroid like picture parts separate too so a really nice idea and I just think a good reminder as well to people to take photos and actually enjoy them so that is everything guys hopefully you enjoyed hopefully you found it helpful if you have any questions about anything just let me know in the comments I'll be replying straight away now once the video goes live and also let me know if you want to see any other gift guides like this was kind of a quick one that I just put together kind of last minute but I feel like they actually do help just to even get you thinking about like what people would actually need and like not just buying things for the sake of it because I think that no one really wants that you know people love when they can actually use something and love it at the end of the day so let me know if you want to see any gift guides for him or for like any other kind of situation and I can get working on them as well. Be sure to give the video a thumbs up if you liked it and found it helpful. Also be sure to subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.